question then, did Lisa? But while he continues to duck the question, the Chinese government has raised stakes. Yesterday, he admitted China was responsible for the Microsoft Exchange hack, which saw businesses' data stolen and hackers demanding millions of pounds in ransoms. He said the Chinese government can expect to be held to account. Well, he might want to have a word with the Treasury, because just two weeks ago, the Chancellor was telling Mansion House it was time to realise the potential of a fast-growing financial services market with total assets worth £40 trillion. While the Foreign Secretary is imposing sanctions, the Chancellor is cashing cheques. How does he expect to be taken seriously in Beijing if he isn't even taken seriously around his own cabinet table? Secretary um, well, Can I thank the Honourable Lady, but she's wrong on two counts. Of course, it was yesterday that the UK, along with our EU, NATO and US allies, uh, and Canada, Australia, and New Zealand uh, publicly attributed the Microsoft Exchange server attacks to the Chinese. It wasn't then that they took place. Um, and she's wrong in her characterization of the Mansion House speech. Uh, of course, we've made clear right across government that we will hold uh, the Chinese government to account on human rights, but also on uh, cyber attacks or indeed uh, other nefarious activity, whilst we also seek a constructive relationship.